In matters of closing the skies over Ukraine, it is necessary to take into account the experience of Israel, which is constantly fighting. This was stated by Lieutenant General, former Deputy Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Igor Romanenko, on the air of the telethon. Commenting on the problems with the transfer of Patriot air defense systems from allied countries to Ukraine, he noted that we also need other tools. The issue cannot be resolved with Patriots alone. We must focus on the experience of countries where a similar situation exists, for example, Israel, which is at war. Its experience in this regard is fundamentally important. We have made several attempts to study this experience. We have studied it. But we cannot put together this issue close to what is done in other countries, taking into account the intensity of military operations in the country, get closer to such a state, unfortunately. But we must work on this and move forward, Romanenko noted. According to him, the appropriate tools can even ensure the operation of civil aviation in the state. However, Romanenko noted that military actions of such intensity as in Ukraine have not been conducted in the world for a long time and are not currently taking place anywhere. Therefore, it is difficult but possible to obtain the appropriate amount of modern weapons for protection. The lieutenant general stressed that Ukraine must fight for any opportunity to strengthen air defense. According to him, in addition to the F-16 and other aircraft, we also need combat helicopters. In particular, there were negotiations with Australia where decommissioned helicopters were disposed of. But according to Romanenko, the issue has not moved forward. Romanenko noted that Ukraine now has to fight with its allies for every additional weapon. This happens every time we show up with regard to any weapons or equipment that we lack. Our military political leadership has to really fight and engage in our military diplomacy, he said. The authorities of Russia's Kursk region say they will establish a special volunteer unit to maintain law and order in territories that border the areas currently under the control of Ukraine's armed forces, regional governor Alexei Smirnov announced. The unit will be called Bars Kursk. The main function of the unit is to ensure security in eight evacuated districts as well as in other areas of the Kursk region, he wrote on his Telegram channel. He noted that volunteers who sign a contract will undergo training and receive weapons. The contract will be for six months, with their current employment and work schedule preserved. The unit's tasks are not limited to ensuring security, but also include participating in the life support of evacuated areas to help those who remain during this difficult period, Smirnov added. He also said that all actions of the Kursk region volunteers will be coordinated with the army and the so-called counter-terrorist operation headquarters. On August the 6th, Ukraine launched an offensive into Russia's less fortified Kursk region, surprising Moscow and forcing Russian conscripts into battle to try to contain Kyiv's progress. The Kremlin responded by declaring a counter-terrorist operation in the Kursk, Belgorod and Bryansk regions. However, Ukrainian forces have continued their offensive, which shows no signs of slowing down. Since March the 22nd, when the large-scale invasion took place, volunteers have been able to join BARS units for short-term service. BARS units are predominantly light infantry formations, which lack integrated artillery or armoured vehicles, British military intelligence added. Without organic artillery and mechanised assets, these BARS units are essentially light infantry. Thus far in the conflict, Russian military leadership has used such light infantry formations as cannon fodder to attrite Ukrainian resources with little regard for the survival of its own troops. Today, there are over 30 BARS units spread across Russia, with a good chunk of them in the western part of the country. The creation of the BARS Kursk Volunteer Unit is almost certainly a Russian response to the Ukrainian incursion into the Russian Kursk Oblast, which began on the 6th of August 2024, British military intelligence stated. It is unlikely that the volunteer unit will be set up and able to support any Russian military activity in Kursk over the next month.